Welcome to Arm Animation. I'm Arman. In this video, we will animate lightning in spine. Subscribe to vote for the next video. Looks cool, right? One more time. Now, let's see it in spine, but much slower. Great! Let's make one from scratch. Those are the assets we will be working with. Lightning bolt, an impact sequence, crack in the ground and a glow for the crack, which you can see is much smaller. It will help us to save some space in the atlas. Next, we have a few rocks and one blurry glow circle. Starting from the bolt. First, what you want to do is create three attachments that use the same image. First one would be original image. Second will be the bolt without the glow. The reason why we separate it in spine is to use the same image which will save some more space in the final atlas. And the last one, just core bolt. We will separate it similarly by editing the mesh. In the animation, we will overlap those attachments and fade them out with an offset. The first thing that should appear in the animation is the flesh, which should fade out after a few frames. For flesh, we will scale up the blurred circle. It even can be done programmatically. Just make sure to fire an event at the moment you expect code to flash the screen. Code will catch the event and flash the screen. However, today we will animate the flesh in spine. Let's scale it up so it covers all the screen. Now, let's just fade it out after a few frames. Great, while it disappears, all three attachments of the bolt should reveal at their highest brightness. Then we just fade out the attachments one by one until we reach the core bolt. Here, apart from fading out, we will also scale it down. Interesting part is that we will first rig it with bunch of bones. Hold shift key to create bones in the same parent and not nested one in the other. Bind the core mesh to them. Go to animate mode and scale down the bones. Offset the scale timelines. Ah yes, and don't forget to fade it out. Isn't it beautiful? Assume the bolt hits the ground. What we need to emphasize that? Maybe a crack in the ground, some rocks, or an impact sequence that we already have. Here we have already added the crack and impact. Nothing complicated, so not wasting your time. Instead, we will talk about the rocks that come out of the impact. The easiest way to do is to work with group of the rocks at once. For that, let's distribute those three images in a round shape. 
change their sizes, duplicate them or rotate to achieve a nice random chunk of rocks. Move them into a container bone and create bones for all of them. Disable scale and rotation for the rock bones, so parent bone doesn't affect them. This will help us to spread them easily in the animation. Great thing with this setup is that we will be mostly animating container bone. Try separating X and Y axis for translate timeline to have more control over them. Use scale to spread the rocks by flying. And upon contacting the ground, set scale of the Y axis close to zero. That will give a fake feeling of perspective. Nice trick, right? Let's add one more bounce and duplicate this effect for the other side and maybe middle section. I like it. Want more tips? Check this video. See you later guys. Bye.